Concord police want to send out a very important message. They say this is not an active shooter situation, that the incident is contained. The shooting happened here in a Steeplegate Mall parking lot on the back side of the mall. The attorney general's office now confirms an adult woman and an adult man both died. They are believed to be the only people involved. Now, the shooting happened in the parking lot of the Zoo Health Club. One witness tells us he was leaving the gym. It was right around 745 tonight when he heard the gunfire not far away. I was walking out of the gym and I, I heard two loud pops. So I thought they were like firecrackers at first or something. I, I drove over to where I heard them. And I, I saw somebody laying on the ground and I, I went up and I checked her pulse and she was still breathing, but she was shot. And uh, at that time I saw a guy laid up against a car, was obviously dead. And uh, so I, I called 911. Justin stayed on the scene so he could assist police. The woman was taken to the hospital where investigators say she died. The body of the man remains in the parking lot where investigators are focusing on what happened here and what led up to the shooting. People in stores nearby as far away as the Shaw's across the street from the mall were very concerned seeing police rushing to the mall. They tell us officers went to businesses to let them know they are safe. Again, a man and a woman died in the shooting incident here at the Steeplegate Mall tonight. Their identities have not been released. The Attorney General's office is now in charge of this investigation and as we get more information, we'll pass it along to you. Live in Concord tonight, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9. All right, what is up everybody? It's the Wicked Explorers, and we are on a quest to explore Dead Mall. This is the uh, first Dead Mall we have uh, recorded as a team, Sue and I. And uh, we brought, around, brought along our young son, Henry, in his carriage. She was asleep the entire time. But nevertheless, the carriage makes a great way to disguise the camera when you're filming a mall. So we are in the Steeplegate Mall. Steeple Gate Mall is located in Concord, New Hampshire, 270 Loudon Road. Uh, this mall was open August 1st, 1990, and the developer was the, the Homat Development Company. Uh, currently, the management company is Kohler's Properties, and the owner is Nam, Namda Realty Group. Uh, number of stores and services is 33 in this mall. I'm not quite sure what the capacity is at this mall, but it's probably closer to 100, maybe. Um, as we entered the mall, we entered through what used to be the food court, which is really not much of a food court anymore. To the right, right there, is where a Old Navy used to be. Uh, we'll get on that a little bit further. Um, it is now being used as like a fun park of some sort for like children, kind of like a um, like a Chuck E. Cheese, but like a place where there's like I, th I think it's the trampoline park they make mention to it in this article I'm reading. Um, but that's in the food court, and there's... I didn't see any restaurants. We came here around 5 o'clock on a Sunday, about an hour before the mall closes, and there was absolutely nothing um, open for food. Uh, there were stores open, so that leads me to believe that the mall was still open, um, but nevertheless, there's nothing there. Uh, there are five anchors, three non-traditional. Um, and at the time of this recording, the Sears that's in here has literally had eight more days till they closed. It is one of the, uh, bunch of Sears around the country going out of business. So that was interesting. Um, the total retail is, uh, 480,000 square feet. Um, this mall is very odd. It's very close. It's about 20 minutes from the mall of New Hampshire, which is the large mall. Um, and, and this is the most Northern mall that I know of. That's like the major mall in New Hampshire. Uh, for people to go to, which I'm so I'm surprised it's not as busy or as relied on as I thought. Um, so as we walk to the halls right here, you can see every store to the left and the right is just absolutely empty. And now we're approaching the uh, Sears, um, eight days, nine days left, signs on there. What really got me was what we're about to see right here. It's an old, I believe, Sam Goodies. I think I'm going to turn it in a second. 
original, not touched since probably when the mall opened and they never took anything off the piano register. Now, I haven't seen one of these in years. Last time I seen one of these was in the Sam Goodies at the Square One Mall that closed many, many years ago. But I've never actually got one of these videotaped before. It's actually really, really, really cool. Um, there's Susie J right there and there's the baby carriage or a moving tripod. Talk a little about the Steeplegate Mall. The Steeplegate Mall is an enclosed shopping mall in Concord, New Hampshire, as we said. Opened in 1990, it has struggled with high vacancy rates throughout its experience. It is anchored by JCPenney's and a Sears that will be closed in 2020. By the time you see this, the Sears has already been closed. Uh, there's a charter school in there in the old um, Bontons location. A trampoline park that opened in 2008, which I believe is what you see when you walk in. The kids throwing the balls around. And there's a health club in the back of the mall that opened in 2019 that you really don't have access to the mall. You have to go outside the mall for it. Um, the mall opened August 1st, 1990 with a Sears, JCPenney's, a Sag, Sage Allen, and a Steinbeck as its anchor. I'm not quite sure what Sage Allen and Steinbeck's are. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down there below. Uh, like I said, it was built by the uh, Home Art Development Company. It also included a full court with 360 square feet. Um, Steinbeck closed its stores by 1990 as a company bankruptcy. Sage Allen became the Bonton. Okay, that makes sense. In 1999, with a second Bonton in Circuit City, splitting from former Steinbeck, closing Circuit City in 2009. Interesting. So, Bontons you don't really see up in the north, northeast. So, that's why it was very interesting that we see one in the small. But because it was Sage Allen, it became a Bonton. Makes sense. 2011, General Grove Properties, the success company of Home uh, transferred ownership to the mall of 29 uh, other unperforming malls to its Rose Properties subsidiary. In August 2014, Rose Properties announced that it had defaulted on its loan for the steeple gate and it was in the process of turning the property over to its lenders. By April 2015, the property was owned by the consortment of lenders including Wells Fargo and Midland Loan uh, Services. The mall is currently managed by Colas International. So as you can tell, in the last five to ten years, it's switched hands quite a lot, and doesn't really help the security of the mall whatsoever. Um, the only other two times I've ever been in this mall was in 2003. I went up here uh, to visit someone who worked at the finish line where I used to work at, um, and I was up here very recently in the summertime, and had videotaped it and lost the video. So. We came back up here. It's now February, you know, six months later. Actually, it was June. I'm sorry. So eight months ago, you know, to check it out. Thankfully, it was still here. So, you know, these dead malls, you never know when they're closed, especially when they're as dead as this is, you know. Um, so in 2020, 2015, the Old Navy, one of the four major anchors, closed its doors. That's now the trampoline park. In May of 2006, Steeplegate has bought by New York-based uh, Nam Namda Realtor Group for $10.4 million um, as a part of an attempt to diversify traditional retail and food stores Hatbox Theater, a live theater venue located in the former Coldwater Creek opened in 2016 Similarity VIP Bounce House and Laser Tag opened and formed the Old Navy location later that year I, like, I don't remember seeing that theater unless we walked by it and it was disguised it might be somewhere completely different um, but this is the center court right here. This is the mall's not that big, so it's one length for the most part. And this is the center court. And is I remember going to this mall almost 20 years ago, and half the stores in the center court were out of business too. So it, it doesn't seem like it ever ever had any business here. And, in, and see, in 2003, the mall was only 13 years old. So I mean, it was never you know it wasn't like it was an old mall. Um, in 2018, the Bonton closed both of its stores as part of a plan to close 42 stores nationwide. Later that same year, a charter school called Capital City Charter School moved into the former Bonton's men's clothing and housewear store and opened on September 5th. So there's two, two Bonton locations. There were, like, a lot of times Macy's does this with two separate buildings. One has like women's clothing, the other one has like men's and furniture and stuff of that nature. Um, let's see. Let's see, an altitude trampoline park franchise opened within the former Circuit City space in November. I'm going to assume that's where the gym is. Well, maybe we're just reading, we find out here. In March of 2009, a health club called The Zoo announced that it'll be open a franchise in the former Bonton's one. So I'm wrong, that's not where The Zoo is. 
So, open a franchise in the former Bonton Women's and Children's Store, making the first time since Circus City closure that all five anchors in the mall will have an active tenant. And I use that word, active tenant, very loosely because we're talking about a, 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 um, a school. You know, at this time it was a J.C. Penney's, it was a Sears. Uh, we're also talking about uh, a gym. You know, so these aren't your traditional uh, anchors, if you will. Um, and also, of course, the trampoline park, if you will, considered an anchor. Um, in May of 2019, one of the of the mall's longest running tenants, a confectionery, confectionery called a True Confections Candies and, and Gifts, announced that it would be moving out of the mall. The store owners who previously had told the Concord Monitor in December 2018 that they intend to stay in the Steeplegate cited declining foot traffic and the mall's owner's unwillingness to lower the rent rates as a result for existing businesses in the mall. From what I understand, and I don't know if this is true or not, from years ago, I remembered that uh, this mall was offering uh, no rent to a lot of stores just for them to stay here. Um, and a lot of the big stores, this was something being offered because they needed these big stores to stay in there so these people would still, you know, buy the other, you know, smaller stores would buy rent for these places. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Um, but it does make sense when you think about it because, you know, you need to somehow somehow meet someone in the middle, you know, of cost and stuff, you know, a $10 million mall. You know, and look at it now. There's no stores. I mean, we've been walking around this mall. We're halfway through this video, and there's absolutely nothing. And none of these stores had been updated. So it seemed like when they went out of business, nothing else went into its place because these are the original storefronts from the 1990s, which is awesome because you never, ever get to see this. Uh, these storefronts are basically like the, the Bath and Body Works, like the finish line, um, some of the other women's stores. These are, these are the stores. These are what it is. I mean, you don't get these anymore you know it's it's kind of crazy so um you know as we approach the bonton up here which like i said you never see a bonton in new england this is the only one that i know of that's in new england um it is kind of crazy like it's like going into a time machine in the small um to finish the article on november 7th 2019 it was announced the sales would be closing in february 2020 which we were here as part of a plan to close 96 stores nationwide, which will only leave J.C. Penney as the traditional anchor store. And I'm gonna go on a limb. I'm not a Notre Dame or anything like that, but I have a feeling that time is wrapping up probably quite soon for that J.C. Penney as well, being the only anchor store there. It didn't seem too busy when we went in there. Uh, we popped in really, really quick. But this mall has all the traditional signs of a dead mall. It has a Spencer's Gifts. It has a Bath and Body Works. It has a Sunglass Hut. Uh, the a food court that's seen better days. And anchor store. I feel like when a mall, once a mall loses one anchor store, it's all downhill. I feel like that is like tragedy, tragedy for the mall. This is inside another store here. Yeah. Me and my wife were playing games. Uh, can we guess what store this was? Basically by the storefront and by the uh you know architectural uh evidence left in these stores um the mall has is very well kept i would leave it at that there is no leakage uh, there's no you know the restrooms from when i was in there eight months ago were very clean um there were no you know issues going on although as you see in the beginning of this video the someone was shot in front of this mall um but i mean Concord is the capital city of New Hampshire, and with big cities, I wouldn't say big cities, it's a it's a major city, not a big city, it comes crime. So, in that case, it could have been just a convenient place to, you know, have a drug deal or some kind of criminal activity just because no one goes to this mall. So, I mean, I thought there. I don't think it had anything to do with the mall um, directly. But, um, hey, here's one of those, here's the second bond town location. It was, one's at the very end and one is the left-hand side of the mall um so and i don't know i would say come see this mall i don't know how much longer this mall has left how much uh liveliness until it goes away um and that's the fear if these malls are becoming dead you need to see these things like yesterday because there's no guarantee how long these things will last um 
just the nature of it. It's just we predict the malls are going to be gone in 10 years. You know, you will have your some indoor malls will survive, but without adapting. And in Massachusetts, we uh, we were trying to think of we this about four major malls that survive, and there's the North Show Mall, the South Show Mall, the Burlington Mall, and the Native Collection, and that's really peppering the North Shore, the South Shore, you know, west of Boston, and then, you know, even further west of Boston, like these metropolitan centrals, um, and smaller malls like the Liberty Trees, the Square Ones, um, other malls like that are, you know, the Westgate Mall, all malls we've documented on this channel are slowly disappearing because you don't need these small malls anymore these malls were good support they were they were overflow for stores when you didn't have the room for the stores and the other malls but now we don't have that anymore you don't need that because those those little stores are now going to the big mall you know what i mean and it's only a matter of time you know these malls start closing and knock down and you know as you see in certain articles you know what's going to happen to these places right they're going to turn them into office space maybe then you knock them down, build, you know, the outdoor type malls, which seem to be very popular in the Northeast, which I never ever thought would happen. Because you gotta walk outside. But I guess you don't have to pay utilities to keep a mall warm for lights for inside the mall, you know, staff for inside the mall. I guess if it's all outdoor independent locations, it's uh self contained. Here's one of your bath and body works to your right, right there. Uh old school, very old school style. So well, that will conclude uh, my little commentary this month. I'll let this run. Some creepy noises you hear in the background and stuff. And enjoy the rest of the mall. Um, a lot of this you've probably ever seen because we, we literally just turned around and came back down the mall. But um, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe. And take one step further and hit the little alarm so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Um, two videos a week. You know, Sue, I, and our uh, little Henry. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.